Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? Welcome to this uh, tag video that I've decided to start um, just after Wednesday uh, because I was talking about how I'm not going to go to Second and Charles and buy trades uh, any longer because I have so many to read and uh, some people were actually interested in what I have um, in that to read pile. So I uh, posted a few pictures on Twitter. Um, you'll see them in this video. And some people were wondering if, you know, I wanted to do a video for it to show all the trades I have in my to read pile. So I decided to make it fun and interactive and tag some people. Um, and they can show their to read piles, whether it's singles, trades, whatever. Um, I'm just going to show you my trades because I have a ton of them and it's going to take forever anyway. Um, but yeah, um, let's just get this started, shall we? Okay, first off, I'm going to, you know, tag, uh, we'll go with three people. Um, and being that it's Father's Day weekend, I'm going to tag a few dads out there. Um, first off, I'm going to tag um, a really, really good friend of mine, Johnny DaCosta. Um, have him do a video, maybe. Um, I'm going to go with another great friend of mine, uh, Grade A Comics, Scott Grady. Uh, I'd love to see what he has uh, in his to read stack. And um, I'd like to go with an awesome uh, father-son team in uh, Just Luke and Big Daddy Don. So you three, uh, I've tagged. I'll put your links below. Uh, that way people can go see you. And uh, hopefully we get a video out of you guys. Uh, so I'm going to go um, like cube by cube in my setup I have. Uh, and show you what I have in my to read stacks. So uh, we'll start with the first uh, cube now. All right. So actually, um, in that cube, uh, you'll see all the books I have, but um, the first book in my to read stack is actually uh, this Huntress trade that uh, Johnny gave to me. Uh, during Motor City Comic Con. Um, really excited to read this. Uh, it's actually signed right there uh, by Richard Zajic. Zajac? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, he was the inker. Um, so, yeah, that's in my to read pile. And then uh, I have this series uh, that I'm actually not going to start until I get them all, uh, but I think the last one's coming out this month or next month uh, and that's criminal so this is uh, the sinners volume 2 bad night the dead and the dying lawless and coward uh, the next one which I believe is going to be the last one will be called The Last of the Innocent. Uh, I actually have it in a different format, uh, but I want them all in this new image printing of them. Uh, next, uh, another complete series that I have. Uh, I actually read the first two volumes, but I want to reread them uh, because I ended up getting all the rest of them, and that's 100 Bullets. Uh, so this is First Shot, Last Call, Split Second Chance, Hang up on the low down, or hang low, sorry. Hang up on the hang low, that's volume three. Uh, a foregone tomorrow. The counterfeit detective. Six feet under the gun. This is Samurai. The hard way. Volume 9, this is Strict 9 Lives. Decayed. Once Upon a Crime. Dirty. 
and this is volume 13, this is Wilt. So, uh, I ended up getting, I think it was 11 and 13 at Motor City Comic Con, um, and yeah, I'm gonna reread the whole, the whole thing. Uh, next is another series that I've read the first two of, and actually, um, issues here and there, but I picked them up in trade form, uh, as they were re-releasing them, um, and that's Hellblazer, so this is, uh, Volume 1, Original Sins, I've read, and Volume 2, The Devil You Know, I've also read. So, um, the rest, uh, Volume 3, The Fear Machine, 4, The Family Man, Dangerous Habits, Bloodlines, and these are all pretty thick, actually, so, uh, they may take some time. Uh, Tainted Love, which is Volume 7. Volume 8, uh, Rake at the Gates of Hell. Critical Mass, Volume 9. And the last one they released, uh, Volume 10, In the Line of Fire. Uh, there, of course, is going to be many more volumes coming out, and I'm going to keep picking them up uh, because I love Hellblazer. So uh, now we're going to go to the next cube I have, and... Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the second cube. Uh, first up we have Archie, The Married Life. This is volume two, or book two. Uh, then we have Hectic Planet. This is Dim Future. Uh, this is book one uh, that I picked up at Motor City Comic Con this year. So. Which means I can finally read book two, Checkered Past. Um, there's also a third one, but I'm going to have to go to like eBay for that one because I have yet to see it out in the wild. And then we have uh, A Few Perfect Hours. Um, I forget where I picked this up. I'm guessing probably Second and Charles or maybe even The Con. Um, I don't know. I read the back and thought it looked interesting. Um, it's like a travel book kind of comic book story about traveling around the world. Uh, next is a series that I have read in singles, but I want to reread because it's awesome and I absolutely love it, uh, and that's X-Men Legacy, uh, the newest run of it, um, starring Legion. Uh, this is Prodigal, or Prodigal, however you say it. Uh, this is Invasive Exotics. And this is Revenants, and then the fourth volume for We Are Many, and that's that. Then we have these that I picked up at, I think at my shop when they were doing like super deals. Um, this is The Man With No Name, Sinners and Saints, this is the first volume. And then we have the second volume, Holiday in the Sun. Uh, that's it for that, um, that title. But there was like kind of a prequel, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which I'm not 100% sure if it's an actual movie adaptation or not, but, you know, it's got to be good because it's a Western, and I enjoy Westerns. So, excited about those. And then we have another full um, full series here. Oh, sorry, I have them backwards, kind of. Uh, this is Frank Miller's uh, Sin City. Uh, this is The Hard Goodbye. And then we have A Dame to Kill For. And then we have The Big Fat Kill. And That Yellow Bastard. This is Family Values. Booze, Broads, and Bullets. And the final volume, Hell and Back. Uh, I had a heck of a time finding all these volumes because I wanted them all to be the same. Uh, it's kind of a thing that I have. Um, but this one is special because there's a picture that is made up on the spine of all of these. So uh, finally ended up getting all of those, and I'm really stoked about it. Next we have um, Witch Doctor. This is Malpractice. Uh, this is volume two of this story. Um, I actually picked that up at Motor City Comic Con last year. 
Uh, these next couple are actually from 2014, and I still haven't gotten around to read them. Uh, this is Hoax Hunters, book two, uh, Secrets and Lies. And then I have book three, uh, the book of Mothman. And then we have one that I was super excited to get, and I'm still super excited that I have. But it is gigantic, and it's going to take me forever to read it. Especially taking into consideration the writer, who likes to be a bit wordy. Uh, and that is From Hell, written by Alan Moore. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited to read it. It's just going to take so much time. Um, and that is part of the reason why I, I'm not picking up trades at Second to Charles anymore. Next we have Captain America, Red, White, and Blue. Which uh, Wednesday Serial Matt has told me is interesting. Uh, I think is the way you put it. So, uh, yep, there's that. And then I have Kick-Ass Volume 1. And Kick-Ass Volume 2. I have those. And then I have uh, one I know I picked up at Second and Charles and was really stoked that I have, and I'm still really stoked that I have. And that's Local uh, by Brian Wood and Ryan Kelly. Um, it's gigantic... We'll see when I have time. <laughs> and that is Cube 2, so we move on. Okay, third cube. Um, this one I actually got from Mercy's Little Show. It's not really a trade, but it's definitely one that I uh, want to read. And that is um, Modern Masters Volume 29 uh, of Cliff Chang. Um, yeah, that'll be awesome to read. Then we have a series that I haven't yet completed, so I'm not going to read it yet, and that's Strangers in Paradise. This is actually Pocket Book 5. I want to pick them all up in this Pocket Book size um, because they're cool, and again, like Sin City, uh, the spine has pictures that make up a bigger picture. So uh, that's 5, and then that's Volume 6. Um, I'll get them eventually, hopefully. Then we have um, Strongman by Charles Soule. Um, Johnny gave me this when he stopped by uh, for Motor City Comic Con. And then uh, The Hypo, uh, which is the melancholic young Lincoln um, that Matt uh, Wednesday Serial gave me when he came for Motor City Comic Con. Then we have Capote in Kansas. I picked up at the con along with the case of Charles Dexter Ward. Uh, Fables, Volume 1. Uh, Legends in Exile. That's a huge undertaking. I'm just trying Volume 1 to see if I like it. Uh, if not, it'll go back uh, to Second and Charles where I picked it up. And then we have Great Pacific. This is Trashed, uh, Volume 1. These bunch are what I picked up at Motor City Comic Con pretty much. Um, not the entire queue, but this big this stack um from the start uh this is copperhead volume one i've heard a lot of good things about it and i'm pretty excited to read that uh this is rage more uh with richard corbin art uh that i'm excited for mm, yep that fell over <laughs> then we have uh final crisis haven't read that yet because it's in my stack of two stuff Anyway, uh, Blue Estate, uh, this is volume one. Um, this is actually three volumes, but I only have the first two, so it might be another one that I have to look for, um, like on eBay, uh, but this is volume two. And then we have Batman Gothic. Wanted by Mark Millar. Then we have... Um, Sons of Anarchy, this is Volume 1, and Volume 2, and I just picked this up, and it's Volume 3, excited about that, I think it's still ongoing, so technically I'm trade waiting it, I guess, then we have uh, Promethea, this is Book 1, uh, another Alan Moore book, and Volume 2, um, I believe there's more. I'm just not sure how many there are. But I'll end up picking those up as I see them. 
Uh, this is Batman Master of the Future. Love my Elseworlds Batman stuff. And in, in addition to that, we have Batman uh, Man Bat. And then we have uh, Wormwood, Gentleman Corpse. This is a book by Ben Templesmith, who I've had mixed uh, a mixed past with. But I love his art. So this is Volume 2. It Only Hurts When I Pee. And Volume 3, Calamari Rising. And we have another complete series in trade, uh, and that's Lucifer. So this is Volume 1, Devil in the Gateway. 2, uh, Children and Monsters. 3, uh, A Dalliance with the Damned. The Divine Comedy. Inferno. Of course, this is Lucifer taken from uh, the Sandman series. Uh, so hopefully there's some like mix in the stories. Uh, Mansions of the Silence. I'm not sure. I haven't read any of it. Uh, but I saw it and I wanted it. Uh, this is Exodus. The Wolf Beneath the Tree. Crux. Morningstar. I believe this was the last one I needed to find. It took me a little while. Uh, and then Evensong. Uh, so I have all that, and um, I'm excited to read that. But we'll get around to it eventually. Okay, uh, next we have this Superman, Spider-Man little tiny one. Uh, I won this from, uh, I think I won it in Brian uh, Emsky361's contest. Uh which is super cool. Um, then we have another complete series because it's what I do. Uh, Next Men. This is book one. Then we have volume two, which is called Parallel. Uh, book three called Fame. Book four called Faith, which I believe this one collects the... Uh, First appearance of Hellboy, uh, which is an issue I'm looking for. Well, first comic book appearance of Hellboy, what, however you want to put it. It's an X-Men issue 21. Uh, so uh, this is the next volume called Power. And the final one called Lies. So uh, have that whole thing to read. Then we have Daredevil volume 1 uh, by Frank Miller. Uh, this I actually got from uh from mike uh 87 boba fett uh he gave me these two volumes uh daredevil volume two and then i picked this up at motor city comic con which is volume three um yeah i started reading it and then stopped because i got something else and then i started just reading something else and it it's still here i'm still waiting to read it um then we have batman and Green Arrow story called The Poison Tomorrow. Um, yep. <laughs> Kingdom Come. I've actually read this in singles, uh, but I have it collected in trade form and I want to reread it. Then we have Batman the Black Glove. And Batman and Son. Then Robin Year One. And Catwoman Win in Rome uh, by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Um, CJ, Nate, and I all picked that up at Motor City Comic Con 2014. And we were planning on doing a hangout or something with it together and just never got around to it. Uh, so it sits. <laughs> and then we have Bedlam. Uh, this is Volume 1. And Volume 2. I'm not really sure where this ended. Um, but I haven't seen it or seen anybody picking it up, so I'm pretty sure it's done. And then we have Ghosted Volume 2, uh, Books of the Dead, and Volume 3, Death Wish. Uh, this series has definitely ended, um, so I have it all in singles, and I'm gonna have it all in trade form as well. 
And we have The Massive, uh, this is Volume 1, Black Pacific. That's another book I started reading and then stopped. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'll get around to it again. Uh, this is I Am Legend. I loved the freaking movie, uh, and I'm really, really excited to read this. I hear the ending is different, um, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. And we have Planetary, Volume 1. Uh, this is All Over the World and Other Stories. And we have Manifest Destiny. This is Volume 1, Flora and Fauna. Another book that I have uh, in singles, but... I'll probably collect it in trade, too, because that is a book worth double-dipping on. Then we have Outlaw Territory, Volume 1, which is a collection of little mini um, Old West stories, kind of, uh, that I'm pretty stoked to read. And we have The Tourist by Brian Wood and Toby Cypress. Uh, this is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Century 1910. Uh, I love the first two volumes, and I'm not really sure about those. Uh, the century books it's the only one i've picked up so far uh but then there's also this the black dossier uh which i haven't read yet either uh then we have one that was uh sort of recommended to me by um sleepy reader 666 that's top 10 uh this is book one i don't know how many books there are but that's the beginning and then we have uh sweets a new orleans crime story i think that's one i picked up at second and charles for like four bucks or something like that and then we have Marvel's Secret Wars. This is the original Secret Wars. Um, another book I started and stopped. Um, I'll get around to it. And then we have Point Blank, which I'm pretty sure I read already. So I'm not sure why it's in the stack still. Um, but it's a uh, prequel to Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips' Sleeper series, which was fantastic. If you get a chance, pick that up. Um, this is X-Men Days of Future Present. And then we have one I got from Brian, um, Bat Paranormal. It's Jesus Hates Zombies. Uh, yay, though I walk. And then we have Challengers of the Unknown Must Die by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. And then we have Clerks, uh, the comic books. I like the movie. I love the movie, actually. Both movies. Uh, but I haven't read the book yet. And then we have another one from MSK361, and that is The Essential Captain America Volume 1. Um, yeah, I haven't got around to that either. Uh, next uh, is going to be the last little pile. Thank goodness, because this video has gone on forever. But here we go. All right, as I said, uh, these are just kind of ones sitting around in other boxes. Uh, this is Why the Last Man... Blah, blah, blah. This is volume 10, but I have 8, 9, and 10 to read uh, when Dr. Monkeybot and I get a chance to get together again uh, and do a hangout about those last three volumes. Um, yeah, I'll get around to them. Then we have The Kite Runner. And One Month to Live. And we have Blood, A Tale. This is Death, The High Cost of Living. This is The Clockwork Girl. The Invisibles, uh, this is Volume 1, Say You Want a Revolution. And Volume 2, uh, this is Apocalyptic. I'm giving those two shot, a shot before I go and dive into getting a whole other series that I'm going to wait to read forever. <laughs> uh, Batman Hush Returns. And then we have The Last Dragon. Have this giant Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean book, uh, Signal to Noise. Also, giant Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean book, Mr. Punch. And then we have... Ah, oh, Jack Kirby's The Demon. I'm saving this for a special day, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, and then, of course, uh, the big one. This is Absolute Watchmen. Uh, Wednesday Serial Matt gave it to me when he came to Motor City Comic Con. Uh, and, of course, I've read it already, but I want to reread it in this format. Uh, so, yeah, excited about that. Uh, and that's it. That's my trade 
slash graphic novel to read stack. Uh, again, I tag Johnny DaCosta, Grade A Comics, and Just Luke and Big Daddy Don. Um, hope to see a video from you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you guys later.